So guys, a bit of a bust down here in St. George. It's usually sunny skies and uh, dry trails, but uh, we caught a big old rainstorm. So, did some skiing in Cedar City, just about an hour north of here, and uh, that was good. Now I'm gonna do a bike check, because the trails are all uh, sloppy. So this is my 2018 Ibis HD4. Uh, thank you to Ibis for uh, uh, helping out with this video and uh, Salt Cycles in Sandy, Utah. It's my local bike shop. Um, they, they helped put this trip together and make this uh, all possible. So uh, super excited to show you my custom painted Ibis HD4. Uh, Dustin Carlson of Technar Media in Price, Utah painted the, the bike. Um, I thought it came out pretty sick, uh, but it's just a standard HD4. Um, I'm running the DPX2 now. I was running the X2 previously on the bike, but uh, just wanted to change it up a little bit and try something different. It feels a little poppier. Um, you can set that X2 up to feel pretty poppy, but uh, man, the DPX2 just right out of the box is super easy to tune and just uh, kind of get going. Um, man, I, I was trying to decide if I was going to go with the Fox 36 or the, uh, the, the new Lyric. The RC2 is just so plush. Just uh, only had two rides on it so far, but it feels a lot more supple and plush than um, that Fox 36 uh, Grip 2 damper. Um, really like it so far. Uh, I've got the Ibis bars, uh, Ergon grips, uh, Volt saddle. I uh, went with the 170 mil cranks, did an X01 build on this guy. And a uh, little shorter cranks is sometimes nice when you're suffering from some pedal strikes and some of this uh, super rocky terrain down here in southern Utah. Um, Max's tires front and rear, so Aggressor 2.3 out back and the DHR2 Minion up front in the 2.4 variant. Uh, DHF, DHR2, they're both good. This comes in on the scale just a little bit lighter. Has the same outside lugs as the DHF and so I, I like it on there. Um, my hoops are uh, custom carbon salt cycles rims they build them right there in their bike shop those guys are meticulous they build up super strong lightweight carbon wheels uh so these came in at uh 15 just over 1500 grams with dt swiss uh 240 hubs uh, and got the 54 tooth ratchet in the back for a little bit better uh, engagement um for this trip i was running the uh cramp on ultimate uh pedals um Otherwise, I'm on Shimano SPDs. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on how the build came out. Uh, Fox dropper post with the uh, wolf tooth uh, lever. And then just the uh, standard Ibis uh, 50 mil stem. I was running a 40 mil stem with my other bars, but these Ibis bars have a little bit more sweep to them. So uh, I could go with the slightly longer stem. Uh, last of all, I guess, is brakes. You got to stop, right? So uh, XT four piston first time riding these they feel a lot like my uh, saints actually uh, a lot like my saints so a little bit less money i don't know where the weight came in i think they're maybe a little lighter than the saints maybe they're the exact same if you know put it down in the comments down below but uh yeah that's my bike check i've been asked uh for the last two years you guys have been asking me to do bike checks and i just have never done them but uh man with all this rainy weather we can't do much riding so a bike check was uh was necessary so if you want to see bike checks on my other bikes that I have, I'd be happy to do those. Just leave it in the comments down below. But uh, uh, thanks for sticking around and subscribing, guys. I know, I know it's been a long winter. haven't posted a lot, but uh, we'll, we'll start getting some more regular posts here uh, now that spring is here and uh, getting some more riding in. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, uh, like the channel, and uh, share it with your friends. Uh, you know, one last time, you know, thanks to Ibis Cycles and uh, to Salt Cycles. Uh, in Sandy, Utah. You ready, Big Al? Born ready. You ready? I think I'm ready, dude. Wish my gloves were dried out from yesterday a little bit. You ready, Lucas? <laughs> it was a big, wet, sloppy mess yesterday. That is for sure. Back. Turtle paradise, so. Turtle wall, so we're right here. So we need, to, we need to come down here. So we need to go Chuckawalla to Turtle Wall to Paradise Rim. So this is Chuckawalla, kind of an intermediate type trail. Lots of hikers and stuff like that around. We're gonna head over to Paradise Rim. 
which should be a little bit more fun. Here we go. I'm just gonna try to jump over there. Hey, hey! No wet! I'll take it. Yeah, I hope I can row. Did you get wet? Negativity. Feel pretty good about the no wet. Pretty good about the no wet. You couldn't really ride through it because it was super, super sandy. All right, Paradise Run, let's do this. Okay. Let's do the thing. Paradise Rim, St. George, Utah. This is actually in, is this uh, Snow Canyon State Park? Nope. No, okay, just outside Snow Canyon State Park then. Snow Canyon State Park's just over here to our right. We are chasing uh, the Jason, the Yahoo, the MTV Yum Yum Man. We are trying out a few new 1819 bikes and they are snaz. And we're gonna try and keep up with MTV Yum 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 Yum. Super good. If you found the line on that. Well, I wish that I knew where we were going. That's my first time riding that, so I just didn't know. Yeah, absolutely. Oh! <laughs> Are you? No, I was doing uh, skull scissors for your camera. I always wanted to ride this trail. Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay, I am just getting this video, this uh, upload, whoa, this upload that you're watching right now, I'm just getting it edited right now. But I wanted to include this in the actual, the, the video. Um, I just wanted to say a couple things that this was a dudes only trip. Just me and some of my, my good friends went down to St. George. We did some backcountry skiing outside of Bryce Canyon National Park, which was just incredible. And uh, kind of got skunked down in St. George for the biking. It just rained out. Uh, all the trails were just a, a mess. And so we tried to find some more rock. Anyway, we got some riding in, but not, not a lot. But um, I just want to take this, this quick minute here in the video and just say, um, how stoked I was on, on the HD4. I thought the paint job turned out great. I love the bike. It, it's just such a capable, fun bike that still climbs really well. And I know 29ers are all the rage right now, whether it's a, a short travel kind of quick bike or a more long travel 29er enduro style bike. That's kind of all the rage. But um, I, I love the HD4. I just think it's such a neat bike and I just have loved, loved riding it. So I wanted to build up that custom paint job. I thought, like I said, I thought it turned out great. So anyway, I, I hope you guys like this kind of more vlog style video uh, as opposed to just the, the bike reviews. And uh, I'm gonna let the rest of this video play out. I'll include some more footage from our trip and you can just kind of see what the weekend was like for us. But uh, 
Uh, let me know down in the comments below whether or not you like this style video, and I can start doing more of them. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Go. This will be a fun hike. Is there, there is a, there's a whole ridge line through the canyon, and there's some camp spots along the way. We could do this with the babes. Like a backpacking deal? Yeah. A two-nighter. Is this bit? Yep. That's what I'm thinking is hiking this right around. Oh, there's the ski north. tracks right through that middle part. Yeah, there are a few turns in there. Okay, we are now in Cedar City, Utah, getting ready to ski the fake brakes. Let's show you these over here. I don't know if that's coming through. I'm gonna go ski these fake brake area. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is incredible. I mean, we're in Southern Utah for crying out loud, down in the Red Rock. They're having a record snow year. And uh, now we gotta come up here and ski it. I don't know how you do any better than that. Uh, March 1st, 2019. Incredible. And then when we get done skiing, gonna the, we're going to uh, head down to right uh, St. George and do a little bit of biking. <sighs> Look at those views. Nice not having any other people here. <sighs> yes. I thought you'd get into that. 